Howdy! Um, so I figured that facing my cluttered wall is better than facing my back headboard wall all the time. I look, I do kind of look like a boy when I don't have my hair down, huh? Hmm. I have residents who say, oh, okay, sir, when I'm talking to them and I'm like, but I'm a girl! Don't I look like a girl? Today, I gave my speech on Sherlock Holmes. Well, it was like a very brief history. Uh, and I say brief because I only had, you know, like seven minutes tops. Seven minutes was like the limit that you can talk. And there's so much to talk about. And I had to like... And I was kind of freaking out because... My friend, my friend from class texted me and she said, sorry, she said, oh, you have to go to the doctor and oh, and she was freaking out and something came over me and said, oh, don't worry, I'll switch with you. I don't know why I did that though, because I wasn't even close to being ready. I had no outline. I had barely <laughs> found some sources <laughs> for my speech and I was supposed to give it Monday, so I was, but I don't know. Something came over me and I said, you know what? I'll, I'll switch with you. I'll go for you tomorrow. You can go on Monday. And she said, oh, okay, great. And the professor okayed it. And so, and I was like, okay. He might say I don't have to. He might say that I do have to. So let me go dressed, ready. So I decided, let me channel my inner Sherlock. And then I realized, well, let me try and go more towards Irene just because I don't know if female Sherlock would wear makeup what do you think I don't know anyways so yeah I have like eyeliner and then I had like stain red stain lip stain and stuff and oh and I'm wearing you know black skirt and black and cardigan I don't know <sighs> yeah and I was trying to find a purple shirt because <laughs> I'm in honor of like the Sherlock fandom, you know, whatever. Uh, but I couldn't find it, so I had to go all black with red. Scarlet, studying Scarlet, you know. I don't know if anybody else caught it, but so oh, and then <laughs> the speech itself was okay. I was my plan was because I had you know my note cards. Where are my note cards? I had my note cards like this, right? And I was like, okay, well, I have my introduction. Hmm? Good question, darling. Yes. Um. And then one was supposed to be for like quotes, and so I was like, okay, and I'll have them like this, and then I'll fold it down, right? And it works while I'm thinking about it, like thinking about it. <laughs> Okay, like I kept trying to call Sherlock Holmes Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Conan Doyle Sherlock and I. <sighs> Sorry, over, over dramatic. Um, it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Um, although I did go over time. I hope I didn't go too much over time. Because it's like a lot of points if you go too much over time. So anyways. After my friend texted me last night, um, like three other classmates texted me about stuff for other classes, and I was like, <gasps> mm, like, so that was fun. I was freaking out. I was talking to my friend Michelle, and she's such a doll. She was like, "You need to just calm down, pray about it, plan it out. It's okay. Calm down." <laughs> Basically, she's like, "Just calm down." And I was like, okay, I will. <sighs> and then I remembered just how busy she is. And I was like, oh, okay, Lord, reality check right there. Because she's planning her wedding, which is in a week. <sighs> what am I going to wear? She's also in the middle of her trimester, semester, I don't know, her semester. And um, she's working too. So I was like, okay. She understands. She knows. Take her advice. It's nice to take other people's advice sometimes, you know, be the one receiving the advice. And then, uh, so I started to calm down because I started praying and I was like, Lord, just help me to relax, chillax, 
it'll be okay, it'll get done, la la la, give me time, give me energy, la la. And um, on my Bible app, I was like, I, I looked up overwhelm, overwhelmed, and it sent me to Psalm, well, one of the verses that came up was Psalm 61 2, which says, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And then I just, you know, I read Psalm 61 and then I Instagrammed it and I was like, oh my goodness. And um, it's just perfect. It's really good. So, yeah. Just wanted to talk about that. Oh, and then I totally have a teacher crush on my thousand year old professor. Seriously though, he's really old, but he doesn't look very old. So I'm thinking that in my head he's kind of reminding me of Matt Smith's doctor. You know, because the doctor is like 900 something years old, but he looks like he's 20 or 30 something. Yeah, um, because my professor doesn't look that old. And <laughs> he has to be at least like 50. So, yeah. That's the reason that I'm giving myself in my head as to why I have this teacher crush right now. Another random news. I went to Target today and I picked up more notepads because why not spend your dollar on notepads? More to-do lists and more things to do around the house. And I bought candy because I'm working. I have to leave for work in like 30 minutes. <laughs> And I bought socks, because socks are great. And I bought a L'Oreal True Match powder. I've been meaning to try this for, like, ever. And now I will. And I tried it earlier today. Um, and I was like, oh my goodness, it really did work. Um, and apparently I'm neutral. Everybody's been telling me forever that I'm warm. Apparently I'm neutral. Hmm. So anyways, yeah, um, I'm going to be quiet now and try and quickly edit this thing or something and then go to work. Woo!